Hello there, Jose Rodriguez back again and this day is another beautiful day and I want to get this out of the way so I can head on outside and do some fun outdoor things today. It's going to be close to 80 degrees in Washington DC area which is unheard of in you know early March so I'm going to take advantage of that. Now I recently did a video on the Pro 9500 where I showed you how I go about flushing the cards and installing new inks which of course are available through Precision Colors and I used a special clip that allowed me to suck up all the ink out of the uh, ink bag. Well, it was brought up to me by Michael Chen, the owner of Precision Colors, that that may pose a problem in basically it's one that could happen but most of the time it will not and what I did uh, when I did that was I basically quickly went from flushing to refilling so I shouldn't have the problem but if you go ahead and flush carts and then just let them sit around especially in this position because you might be afraid of ink or any kind of whatever is inside the bag oozing out you may run into the problem of uh, the internal screen drying up in other words the way this works is quite intricate the engineering is amazing and Michael has gone ahead and dissected several of these cards and he has figured out how these things work the pneumatics of it even and so what he recommends is that since the system works in this manner the screen constantly has a film of ink on it and it's located right underneath this exit sponge that has to remain wet and that that layer of liquid does not break until a specific amount of pressure has been reached and that is part of the internal spring that operates the diaphragm that operates the bag and it's all very intricate so what he recommends is that if you are going to be storing any of these cards whether it's when you flush them or whether it is after you have filled them is to place them facing down that way that exit and of course with a clip of course that exit um, screen and sponge is kept moist and that layer which operates by surface tension apparently is kept always wet and that is very critical according to him and he's the man so I go by what he says a hundred percent so here for example I have a set of 10 cards they all have clips they're all full and I store them in this position. I used to store them in this position thinking you know I don't want any kind of ink pulling on the on the uh, exit sponge. Well actually you do. You want it to remain wet. So store your Pro 9500 cards in this manner and for those of you who own a Pro 10 which uses the same physical cartridges only the chip is different you refill them the same way store them in this position okay now the danger comes from the flushing of the car so he has recommended don't even bother flushing there is no incompatibility issues with the ink that he is selling as a replacement to the OEM ones so you can actually just mix them no problem as long as that internal screen is wet the ink bag inside will not um, not collapse but open up what happens once you break that that layer of liquid on that screen the spring is able to then open up the bag so if you try to forcibly fill it using the method that I demonstrated you will literally cause the car to pop apart the ink will not leak out because the bag will contain it but basically the bag at that point is full of what air because it was allowed to expand by that spring that's constantly applying positive pressure against it and if you have that screen underneath that exit sponge wet the surface tension that's created is sufficient to prevent the spring from opening up the bag and aspirating air now if that ever happens to you and one of the posters had that happen to him I suggested that you know he can recollapse the spring 
basically with just an empty syringe just apply the clip pull back recollapse the spring quickly remove the the um, cap and start drip filling it or using the syringe whichever works best uh, one method that's a little bit you know not recommended but it works is to use a 30 ml syringe and only load about 14 ml of ink and keep it loaded to just the 14th and then draw back the syringe to a full 30 and that will allow the bag to mostly collapse now you can inject ink you can draw back a little bit more and at that point you will remove all the air that was originally in the bag and then go ahead and inject the ink until it's almost almost out of the uh, syringe remove the syringe remove the cap and finish off by dripping ink into the sponge and you want to reach about 32 total grams when you put the card literally on a scale okay and that will that will work if you have already flushed the cards but if you have not just don't bother with using that method and simply just drip the ink mike says that works perfectly and does not um change the internal workings of the print of the print card the printer cartridge and that's something you have to maintain there goes my phone Okay, I'm back. That was my second daughter calling from her job, wondering if uh, we had the grandson today and whether we could go visit her. But no, this is uh, the boy's mom's day off, so she has them. Okay, so where was I? We're talking about the carts, yes. And basically, what I know I do if I have a dried up cart, basically one that is empty, I will go ahead and paste some tape on the exit port and that remains the or retains the bag inside fully collapsed if I remove this and just let it relax and that layer of wetness over that screen sort of evaporates or dries up then air can enter and it will then expand the bag the spring will actually win and expand the bag and you just simply have to Get it wet again and then use a syringe to recollapse the spring and you're good to go all right now let's go ahead and change the subject a little bit um someone posted that they received an email and this is concerning the sure color p series of epson printers and not not all of them yet but it's looking kind of uh, uh, bad for refillers and I hope Canon doesn't follow up with this type of, uh, I don't want to say attitude, but, you know, practice. Um, they are going to prevent us from using refillable carts, basically. Okay, so here's how they, they're doing it. Their firmware has built-in guards that if you insert, even if you can produce a chip that the printer will recognize, a lot of the very important functionality how the printer dithers the dots how all of the all of the basic photo producing um, processes that take place when you print will be negated or will be rendered uh, useless in other words they, they just will not work and it seems that it's going to occur in anything 17 inch wide and larger so so far the p600 which is the equivalent of a p of an r3000 that is uh, will not be affected there's already third party cards and inks for it but we're talking about the p800 which is the equivalent of a 3800 except with a external roll adapter and of course the claimed better dmax and all that good stuff so it's looking pretty pretty dim that they will ever be a available system or third-party system for those printers now I hope to heck that Canon does not follow through with that because I am looking this year to purchase a Canon Pixma Pro 1000 or the IPF 1000 if not and again it's looking dim for the Pro 1 even which uses basically the same ink set I believe uh, only in smaller cartridges I have 
over 300 empties that a studio that uses Pro Ones has been basically letting me have them for 25 cents a piece. They even have six to eight ML of ink still left in them, in them. and I can go ahead and uh, if I if I can manage somehow to reuse these cards, and if Red Setter would just you know produce a resetter for it, which probably they won't because there's just no demand for it. And then I could use those cards and possibly make them available for people, for Pro One owners. But again, that looks pretty dim uh, down the road, and I don't think that's going to happen either. So, yeah, Pro 800 owners uh, that are hoping to be able to uh, not print with OEM uh, is looking pretty bad. I don't think it's going to happen. And even uh, Inkjet Mall, who's a pioneer in, in third-party systems, they claim it's not going to happen. So if they claim it's not going to happen, they probably will not. Now, anything is hackable, as you can as you can imagine, uh, and you probably know. But I don't think in this case it's going to happen. So that's a little bit of bad news concerning that series of printers. I know the Pro 600's already been taking care of the Pro 400, which is the uh, big sister of the R2000 has yet not received third-party support and again to me so what uh, that printer does nothing different than the R2000 currently does so I'm not too worried about that at all okay so I'm gonna head on outside my wife is out tutoring she was a she's a retired teacher but she spends her Wednesdays uh, tutoring kids at her her local school where she retired from she'll be back in a little bit so I'm gonna get ready to uh, go out with her and just go take a nice drive down our parkway and uh, see what the good weather brings all right so if you like this please like please share please subscribe until the next time happy printing and any rumors that I come up with I will definitely pass them on to you as long as they're real <laughs> and not just uh, rumors okay so until the next time bye bye